In this video, we are going to talk about probability vocabulary. So when we talk about probability, we're talking about the chances that something happens. And vocabulary are the words that we'll use to describe these chances of something happening. The first word I want to talk to you about is the word impossible. Impossible. Impossible means that it is not going to happen. There's no way it's going to happen. So what might something be that is impossible, which is not going to happen at all? Well, a child riding an airplane like this is certainly impossible. There's no chance that this would ever happen. So that is an impossible event. Another impossible event would be these elephants going skydiving. Yep, that is not going to happen. Not a chance. So we call that impossible. This will never happen. And this, a horse growing wings and learning to fly? Mm, I don't think so. This is not going to happen. No way. So we call that impossible. It will never happen. The opposite of impossible is certain. Certain is a word that means it will happen. Absolutely, definitely, always. It will happen. So what's something that is certain? When we look at a calendar, we see that July always comes after June. Does it happen every year? Yeah, it does. July always comes after June. So we can say that that is a certain event. July is certain to come after June. We could also say that Monday, I'll extend this here, Monday always comes before Tuesday. That is certain. That's a certain event. So it's always going to happen. Monday will always come before Tuesday. Tuesday. That is certain. I could say that another certain event that will certainly happen for sure is that this horse will breathe oxygen. Yeah, the horse will breathe, breathe oxygen or air. You're right. It's going to happen because horses don't breathe helium or anything like that. They would sound funny if they did. The next word I want you to know is the word possible. The word possible means it could happen. It might happen. It might not happen. But there's a chance it might. It could happen, which makes it possible. And sometimes we have possible but unlikely events. And those are events that they could happen because they're possible. But unlikely means probably not. They're probably not going to happen. Mr. Siemens going scuba diving next summer is possible, but unlikely. It's possible. There's a chance that I could go scuba diving, but because I don't like to go scuba diving, I'm going to say it's possible. There's a chance, but unlikely, which means it probably won't happen. Another possible but unlikely event would be Mr. Siemens walking along and finding a $100 bill on the ground. It's possible there's a chance it could happen, but it probably won't. So we call that possible but unlikely. The next phrase is possible and likely which means there's a chance it'll happen because it's possible, and we call it likely because there's a really good chance it's going to happen. It will probably happen. Your mom or dad telling you to brush your teeth before bed? That's probably going to happen. So we say that's possible and likely because there's a good chance that's going to happen. Mr. Siemens going home today and reading a book is also possible and likely because Mr. Siemens reads books a lot of the time. So there's a chance it'll happen 
and it's likely. There's a really good chance it'll happen. We don't say that Mr. Siemens reading a book is certain. It's not certain. Because what if I go home and something comes up and I don't end up reading a book? So we don't say it's certain because it's not guaranteed to happen. But because there's a really good chance that it'll happen, we say it's possible and likely. Another possible and likely event is that you will go to school sometime in the next week. That's a weird looking school. Uh, I was trying to draw a school bell. That's not really a bell. <laughs> There's a sun in the school. Hey, that's all right. There's a really good chance that you're going to walk to school or go to school. I mean, not walk maybe, but we call that possible and likely. It's not certain because you might get sick and not go to school this week or next week. But we can say there's a really good chance you'll go to school this week or next week. So we say possible and likely. And that's probability vocabulary. We learned that some events are impossible, which means they will not happen ever. Some events are certain, which means they will always happen. Some events are possible, but unlikely, which means they could happen, but they probably won't. And other events are possible and likely, meaning they could happen and they probably will.